I'm going to show you how we're going to set this gate post to be secure without concrete. So this little gate is going to be a six foot span, a pretty lightweight gate between the two. So there's not going to be a lot of pressure on this post, but I do want it to be in there secure and I don't want to have to pour concrete. The fence is running this way. So the gate will be this direction as well. That means that the pressure on this post, the weight of the gate is going to be pulling this post that direction. I learned a trick on YouTube from a friend named Tommy Alderman. Tommy has a homesteading channel where he shows all kinds of cool homesteading tips and tricks and animals. Well, early on, several years ago, he did a video about how to set a corner post without concrete. I'm going to be using a similar method that he did for my gate post. Tommy learned this method from an old homesteader in his area that he called his mentor. He said that this method of securing a gate post without concrete was keying the post. The key is this old treated 2x6. The 2x6 is going to go perpendicular to the direction of the gate leaning. The gate is going to be pulling the post this direction, so we're going to put the key perpendicular. So with this old 2x6, I'm going to scribe a line in the soil and we're tilting it on an angle so that that line will be up tight against that post. We're going to dig out and we want this to be in there really secure. So now that I have my line, I'm going to dig a little bit out here so we can sink that in the ground. You can see right here that I tried to cut pretty tight a nice line for my 2 by 6 to sit into the ground right in front of the post. But while we're here, I want to point out that the back side, which is the opposite direction of the force, the force of the gate is going that way. That means the bottom of the post is going to be pushing into the bottom of the, the back side of this hole. When I was digging the hole, I tried to be very aware that the back side of this hole needed to be nice and straight and compacted. I didn't want to loosen that soil up and I didn't want the hole to go at any crazy angles. It needed to be straight down so that pose can sit right up against the back side of that hole. We're going to get this post set in the hole. Right up against the back of that hole like I, like I described. We're going to put a couple inches of soil in the hole. Then we're going to take this dowel rod and tamp it in real nice and solid. Hey Coco. All right, now that I have that hole filled up to the to the depth of this board, about six inches deep, I'm going to go ahead and put my key in here, and it is going to be a little bit of a tight fit, so I'm going to pound it in with this hand sledge. I only need that to be just below the surface so that I can bury it. Well, there you go. That is one gate post that shouldn't move a whole lot once we get a gate put on here. We'll be back in future videos showing you why we're putting a gate here and what the rest of this fence is going to look like. But for now, that's it. Thank you, Tommy, for sharing your knowledge so that I can uh, have a better gate post and that I can share the knowledge further on YouTube. Thanks again. I'll talk to you soon. Is it deep enough? Nope, not deep enough. You gotta keep digging. Now don't make the hole wider. Just deeper, like this. Let me show you. Look, look. You just get the bottom loose.
once you get the bottom loose then you use the pulse hole digger to dig it out.